Yo, um, I thought I'd hop back on the vlog. Yeah, we'll give you a little update of the S30. Hold on a second. So this is what we're dealing with at the moment. In a bit of a state, we're just going through and doing a plus D conversion. Try to find a debt motor, couldn't find anything, so I thought I'd just plus D this myself. Basic plan is, yeah, rip the motor out, drill and tap all the oil and water line holes. Which should, yeah, it shouldn't take too much. Just got to um, take the sump off. Um, I'm going to flip the motor around on an engine stand. Got like a um, new Garrett GTX 2860 Gen 2 with a V-band rear housing, which is sick. Thought, why not? Just go V-band everything. It's going to save me a lot of burnt fingers, burnt hands at the track when we're shredding. So just trying to make it as reliable as possible or as I can. There's always going to be a few things here and there, but just with a V-band hot side, it's going to eliminate a lot of problems. So we also have this down here. Uh, so just picked up a Cinco manifold. It's got a T2 flange, but I'm talking with one of my homies and hopefully we can change this to V-band. Well, we have to change it to V-band because my turbo is V-band. <laughs> it's got a 38mm gate flange on there. 38mm gate too. As you can see, we just have all the S13 parts just chilling. Yeah, lights over there. I haven't shown you guys the uh, 14 in a bit. I don't even think it's been on here since the Works 9 kit. I lost the skirt. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. Looking pretty good. Oh, we'll go full to Works 9 side. Well, uh, that's a bit block. Can't wait to clean this damn thing. It's a little before, before we get straight into it. I was thinking of getting the workshop soon. <laughs> I remember when I was saying that we should get like 10, 10 of the boys together and then pop. Just about to put the sump on, oil pan. Oil drain is tapped. I'm just gonna line a decent bead around here. Slip that back on, bolt it down, torque it to spec. I'm um, drilled and tapped the block this morning, uh, just for the oil drain. Still gonna run an um, oil feed for the turbo from the factory oil pressure sensor, which is on the cold side. So I'm just gonna loop that around the back. Also got the manifold down here. Now being converted to V-band. It's just got some high heat um, silver paint. I try to get black paint, that's all they had. Bear with me and my silver motor. Everything's silver. <laughs> well, I'll probably do a different color on the rocket cover, maybe silver. No. <laughs> we'll get on to laying this down on the block here. And yeah, let's go. Motor is fully complete. I just need to bolt the cams down. Cam gears, uh, chuck the chain on there. Chain tensioner. And there's just a couple uh, plates that I need to put on. And then now we just finished the engine bay. I just painted it like a like a metallic candy-ish sort of red. It's definitely not the best. Don't get me wrong. I did it myself. But like 70 bucks, that's pretty good. Especially compared to the factory red. And then you see this red. It's quite a bit different. But yeah, I'm pretty stoked with that. I'm hoping as well that I can get the motor in tomorrow, possibly. Loom back on, I'm gonna put the fenders back on, bumper, headlights, grill, everything. Um, I got new corner lights, got new bumper lights. So busy working on the car that I haven't been able to film. The 13 is finally getting there. As you can see, yeah, we um, chopped the tubs out. Put some new bars in here. Gonna do like a mid-mount setup. Got some super short piping um, running to the intake and the GDX. Should be super sick. Pretty hyped on this. Um, we moved the rack forward about 25 mil as well, give or take. Mega lock now. We already had super lock before, now it's just stupid. Um, can't wait to test this thing out. I'm back. 13's finally going for wiring today. Homie's about to pull up. I'm gonna line to me. Didn't get a trailer. Don't need a trailer, I'm only going 10 minutes down the road. So yeah, I'm just gonna uh, move all the cars around. I'll push the 13 up as far as I can, because it's fucking heavy now. And uh, yeah, let's get into that.
Tesla Sport in the new wheels. I have to get this video out. Woke up, had to film it. Bye, yeah. It's on. We'll have a little walk around. driving, running, so hyped but as you know we've been going through a bit of COVID stuff at the moment um, New Zealand went into lockdown, um, Auckland where my tuner is, JT they've, they've, yeah, they've been stuck in lockdown, well they're in level 3 now but they've been stuck in lockdown, uh, we're in it for a week, they're in it for about a month level 3, um, it's meant to be level 2 next week so we rebooked the show um, unfortunately um, level 2 may happen, borders not going to be lifted that's just from the info I've gathered at the moment. Like, I'm hoping that's not the case because I really need this car tuned. Like, you can still technically go to the track. Man, I need to go to the track. Oh, I'm so keen. Like, I've spent like 30 grand on this car. Like, can you just go? We're gonna need some, um, some 55 fenders. These are 30s. We still need, yeah, about that 25 mil. Uh, there's a 245 tire on this though, so. Yeah, it's pretty big. Running the ten and a half on the back. And, uh, I've got a two, three, five. Strips on there. So it's running, it's driving. I know for a fact that we would have been at the track by now if we were allowed to get this car tuned, but yeah, unfortunately not.